Hi there. So today on my way home from work, I stopped at this little local garden center that I like to stop at. Um, they always have really cute stuff in there and they were closed down for the end of the summer, but now that it's September, yes, I can't believe it's September already. Um, but now that it's September, they kind of opened back up with mums and um, discounted perennials and trees and shrubs and all kinds of things. So I had to stop <laughs> and see what they had uh, um, naturally. So um, I'm going to show you what I ended up getting. All right. So they had this aloe plant. It was what was it? $8.99, and it was 50% off. So I got it for dollars and fifty cents and then they had these awesome agave plants um, or mangave I, I'm not really sure exactly how to say that but um, oh they had like seven different colors and I I couldn't hardly choose I was like standing there for forever trying to pick some these ones I have to clean clean some of the water spots off a little bit but anyway I got these two for five dollars, so they were eight eight ninety five a piece, and got them for two fifty a piece. So that was awesome. And then I wanted to see if I could put. I got this for fifty percent off, um, so I got this terracotta pot for five bucks. And I think I'm gonna put this aloe in it. But up here on my front porch, um, that plant still looks pretty good, so we'll leave that. It's just got some. Uh, angelonia in it, some geraniums, I got a deadhead, um, some dichondra silver falls, uh, some, uh, I think it's diamond frost euphorbia, and then some lantana. But like I said, that's looking pretty good so far. And then up here, I have a couple ferns. That fern is still looking pretty good. That one, I'm going to clean up, and I don't know if I can save it or not. It's pretty brown inside. It missed a couple couple waterings when we went on um, a weekend, a little weekend away. But I think I want to put one of those agave in this pot. Um, and then I do have another little fern over here. I think I'm going to try to clean that one up and see what we can do with it and I do have to find another pot for my other agave so that's what I'm going to be working on today. Okay so I've got all my stuff. Um, I did grab this um, fern right here and like I said it's I don't know. It's the end of the season, so I might just kind of cut it. I've never actually done that before, but we might cut it and um, see if we can save it. Maybe bring it inside for the winter, um, but I, I want to use this pot, so I'm going to pull it out of here. Hopefully there's no spiders. We're just going to set it over here for a second. And my neighbor, okay, he's putting his lawnmower away, so sorry if you can hear loud lawnmower -y noises. Um, but, okay, so I've got this pot, um, I've got this pot, and let's see, I've got, I did find this other pot that I had some herbs in that I'm gonna use, so I think the three of these together would look really cool. Um, so, oh, let me back up so you can see. There we go. So, I was thinking, let's see, this one is like the widest. So, I think that I might put that in this pot because this has the widest um, opening at the top. So, I think we might do that. And then, this thing is like huge. This is the um, aloe plant I got and it's actually really heavy and big and um, so obviously I'm going to put it in this bigger pot here. And we'll put this smaller agave. This one is really cool. It's 
got like spotted leaves on it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's pretty sweet. It's called Pineapple Express. And then I'm hoping that will fit right in there. So that's what we're gonna end up with. This one is called Mission to Mars. How fun is that? So yeah, that's those and um, I'm just gonna pot these up in some uh, Espoma potting mix and see how they do. This one I don't think I need very much dirt for. As you can see the pot is like similar size. So yeah, just put some in the bottom. I'll be right back. 
Okay, this is how they turned out. I kind of love this little trio. Um, I've got so two agave here and then an aloe and then I'm gonna leave these on my front porch for the remainder of the season. Like I said, it's September, so we don't have too much longer in the season, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put them up here somewhere and hopefully they look good. If they don't, I'll probably move them to the back porch and then I'll bring them inside to overwinter them. So pretty excited about these. Okay, so we are all set and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I did keep two out of the three of my ferns. The other one I'm, I still have set aside. I think I'm gonna try to cut it and see if something happens to it. Um, but let's flip you around and uh, see what we came up with. And I've got my nice little annual planter still going strong for the year in September, it's crazy. Um, I did keep my one little tiny fern right here. Um, my sister gave me that one, so I wanna keep that one. I just need to give it some water. Um, I put one of the fern, or the, sorry, the agaves right there. Um, I swapped out, I had a big fern on here and I'm gonna take it to the back porch. I think it will do better there. It does get hit by the sun up here. So, and then I ended up putting the third agave right there. So, yeah, there's my aloe, agave, and agave. And then my niece is the cutest, and she loves to paint rocks. So, she gave me that one, and she also gave me that one. So, I love, 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 love those rocks. But anyway, okay, so let's go down and... I will take this big giant fern that I saved and we're gonna put it down by the um, other porch on the other side of the house, well the back side of the house really. The downstairs area and I think oh, sorry about that I think I'm just gonna um, actually let's just put it on this table see how it does yeah that's pretty that'll do great there okay well thank you so much for watching the video and um, I hope that you liked the cool agave that I got for two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> and the uh, aloe that I got for $4.50. So it's always fun um, finding deals at the store randomly. So, all right, see you later, oh. bye. And while I'm walking back around to keep cleaning up my mess <laughs> before my husband comes home, <laughs> um, I found a hummingbird stuck in my garage just flying around. I don't know how to get him out. Oh, I feel bad for him. I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't think hummingbirds can fly down. And so he's just going 
Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do.